Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Western Digital NAS. What's good, what's bad and is it the right NAS brand for you? Now unless you've been living under a rock you must have heard of WD, Western Digital. They have been names in the data storage industry for longer than a lot of you have been alive. It's, you know, it's pretty much as straightforward as that. Along with Seagate, they are two of the biggest hard drive brands out there. And both Seagate and WD have dipped a toe or indeed an entire leg into the field of network attached storage. Now, Seagate really tried their best to crack the NAS market, but eventually, apart from their great Iron Wolf NAS drive series, have all but gone out of the NAS server industry. Whereas WD has still managed to maintain a reputation with their MyCloud series of devices. Now, yes, WD have got NAS hard drives coming out of the wazoo, the WD Red, the WD Red Pro, um, and of course, um, the WD Gold, which unfortunately is end of life, and the merger between WD consuming HDST the number of their hard drive brands have only made WD stronger. But the NAS series of devices have always been a very hot and cold series of NAS server devices. Now, this is because although they are very, very well priced, easily the best price um, in terms of you know how much you're gonna be spending um, NAS devices out there, and great design, very slick design, three years of warranty, and beautifully constructed devices that are very artsy, there's still no denying that for the most part, WD NASes always seem to lack a little something, and it's one of those somethings that companies like Synology and QNAP have capitalized on. And that's because WD NAS, although it's robust, reliable, and very, very high build quality, in terms of software, WD NAS will leave you wanting. If you're looking for a simple file server to run multiple Apple Time Machine backups for multiple devices, as well as stream your media to your smart devices in the home, then definitely consider WD. Moreover, one of the very best Plex Media servers in terms of what you get for your money is still the WD MyCloud Pro series, their PR21 and PR4100 device, both of which arrive with a Pentium-based CPU quad-core and supports transcoding, um, hardware transcoding of a Plex Media server devices, and indeed their newer generation of MyCloud devices, which arrive with a Realtek ARM CPU, also perform very well in Plex, which is great that, you know, the Plex, this third party app that's really storming it in the media circles. But after that, things really do seem to hit rock bottom. There's only about two or three mobile apps available. They're all pretty much much of a muchness. On top of that, they don't have their own surveillance platform, choosing to support the um, third party application Milestone Surveillance. On top of that, although it does support Apple Time Machine and they have their own backup system, after that, there's barely any apps available. WD has very few of its own applications and indeed, its user interface, although it gives you what you need, does not present it in a great way. And indeed, setting up the device, although very, very quick, and with its own internal RAID configurations, ranging from RAID 0 to RAID 1 to RAID 5, RAID 6, depending on the unit you go for, there's still no denying that one of the things that lets WD NAS down is its support of its own first party applications and indeed some third party applications. That said, it's still a great NAS. And when you see it always on offer and always available and always one of the ones that's on Amazon, they are a brand that you snap up because if you're looking for just reliable network storage, they're definitely the ones to go for. They also arrive empty and pre-populated with hard drives, which lower the price considerably because a lot of the time you would have bought a NAS and WD uh, NAS hard drives. What you get with a WD MyCloud drive is a WD NAS with the drives pre-installed from WD and they've lowered the price of the entire outfit. So you can get a two bay Plex enabled NAS for under 500 quid that's got two to four TB of storage, which is a good 200 odd quid less than the likes of Synology and QNAP if you try to buy the same stuff. So again, there are lots of advantages from a price, price and reliability point going for WD NAS and indeed supporting um, those newer Realtek CPUs and supporting a Pentium chip that a lot of NAS brands don't is very, very advantageous. But there's still no denying, if you are buying a NAS to utilize and you know immerse yourself in that software infrastructure 
that you get from Synology with DSM or QNAP with QTS. You are not going to get that with WD. What you get is a reliable product that can do three to five things insanely well. But Synology and QNAP do 20 or 30 things pretty well. So you've got to choose. Do you want a NAS that can do two or three things insanely well or the kind of diversity and options and flexibility that you get from Synology and QNAP? Because that's what it comes down to. WD NAS is a great brand, but they don't give you the diversity of other NAS brands. So if you are interested in buying a WD NAS, I got to, got to, got to recommend the new MyCloud series and of course that PR2100 and 4100 because they are the go-to ones to go for. If you see that EX2 Ultra, maybe steer a bit clear. It's very underpowered and quite frankly you can get a lot more for your money these days. And of course, if you get a unit with the drives inside, your warranty is all encompassing on that device. And indeed, there are other little hardware features such as the MyCloud Pro series having two PSU ports on the rear giving you a redundant power supplier option, dual LAN, um, very much like the Drobo system of being able to force link aggregation as needed. And of course, great support of Plex Media Server across those devices. But that is WD NAS and why I think you should go for it and definitely forget about Seagate NAS. Um, maybe stick to their hard drives. Thank you so much for watching. Click like if you enjoyed. Click subscribe if you want to learn more. And next up will be Buffalo. I'll see you next time.